Ryan Coogler, how are you keeping today? I'm good, man. So how difficult or easy is it for you to drop your style and personality into a universe that's kind of already set up like this? It was it wasn't it wasn't that challenging, to be honest. Like, um as far as like artistically, you know, mm -hmm. um I've had to every film that I've done so far has been a has been a leap in terms of scoping skill and, and skill sets that I had to learn on the on the on the job, you know. Um so 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 that part was 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 you know, that part was there obviously, you know, um uh there's a lot more a lot more toys to play with, a lot more things that have to happen, a lot more characters, you know, um that that, that existed in the films that I that I, that I worked on in the past. Um but I was supported, you know, by the by the studio. In terms of like, you know, I I've had experience like, you know, um, my second movie Creed was a Rocky was a Rocky movie, mm -hmm. you know. Um, you know, it was it was it, you know it was a, it was a film that had to exist in that universe in that context. Um, but I was also able to make it something that was incredibly personal to me. Absolutely. So I had experience in, in terms of, in terms of that. Well, and then this was this was very similar, you know. And, and also, um, the Black Panther comic books are so different from anything else yeah. in comics, you know. So it kind of lends itself. You know, when 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 Kevin and those guys say, "Hey, we want to make a Black Panther movie," you kind of know it's gonna be different from everything else. You know what I'm saying? So you had that you had that buffer to be able to lean into the material and, and be true to the material, and that'll make it unique. This is your uh, third time working with Mr. Michael B. Jordan. He was absolutely fantastic. Obviously, you think so oh, as well because you. you've worked with him every time, and <laughs> he's brilliant in all of your movies. Uh, in this, he is a bit more kick-ass, and he's a bit more negatively shaded, let's say, because he, he, he skews more towards the bad guy side. Um, yeah, I, I would say he skews pretty heavily. <laughs> <laughs> well, he, he has his reasons, but yeah. they, they, he goes about them all wrong. Was it yeah. fun for you to get uh, someone who I assume is a friend of yours to, to be that kind of evil? It's, it's always great to work with Mike. You know, it's always great to work with Mike. I, I recommend hiring him to any filmmaker. You know, he's really, he's really good. Um, and he was necessary for this because Chadwick's so good, you know. Yeah. Like, 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 um, the worst thing to do is to, is to have, I think, in a, you know, because I loved watching these movies my whole life. These these, these big event movies and comic book movies, and it, it, you you could feel the difference when the villain never really feel like he could hold a candle, he or she could hold a candle to the main character, yeah. you know. Like, like the ones I like the most are the ones when I'm like, oh my god, the villain is the villain could win, you know what I'm saying? Like, this villain could. This villain's a problem, you know. So, so I needed that for for, for 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 to balance Chad out, you know. Um, and, 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 and so, so I, you know, so I kind of knew Mike was the guy. And then when I when I knew what what, what I wanted Killmonger to be, what we were thinking Killmonger should be, you know, um, you know, you you, you needed somebody with the charisma and and and, and the physicality, um, and and the acting intelligence, you know, that that, yeah. that that Mike that Mike has to to to, to do that. Um, but but yeah, like I mean, like fun. I mean, Killmonger, Killmonger is a you know that's a tough character, man. Like like you know, and, and I think, and I think what's crazy is what's crazy about him is, and then talking and talking to people about it, like it's interesting because Mike is so charismatic. Like some of the things that Killmonger is doing and says he wants to do, I think almost like people are like nah, man. But it's you know he has his points. You know? <laughs> It's, it's because like, Michael's doing it. You're like, I've got him on his side. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, like, it's, it's, it's like it's like, oh man, like this dude says he wants to like, you know, murder children. You know what I'm, you know what I'm saying? And and and, it, and it's like, yo, your reasons can be, your reasons can be completely justified. But like at a certain point, you know, but Mike is so charismatic, yeah. and, and I think that the character is dynamic enough that you you understand. You know what I mean? You understand. You under you sit, you empathize with him. Absolutely. You know, and 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 and, and you understand. Uh, where they're coming from, which makes it all the more frightening, I think, you know. <clears throat> Absolutely. Ron Kugler, thank you so much. Oh, thank you too. I waited my entire life for this. The world's gonna start over. I'm gonna burn it all. What happens now determines what happens to the rest of the world. Let's have some fun. The revolution will be live.